Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about MCP. The past few days everybody been talking about MCP online and how it's going to revolutionize uh, AI agent development. So I'm going to, in this video, try to just cover the, the, the difference between doing it the MCP way and developing agents how we used to do. So in order to understand the benefits of MCP, let's start with the old way. So currently now when we develop AI agents, let's uh, zoom in a bit here. When we develop AI agents, you have your AI agent. Maybe you're developing it in NA10, which would be the host in this case, or you have Cursor or OpenAI platform. And you have this AI agent that uh, by chatting with it, you want it to take actions outside of itself on maybe uh, Google Drive uh, web API service. You would like it to be able to upload files, download files, delete files by chatting with it, for example. To do that, you would need to create tools for the AI agent that it can call. And each of these tools need to have a prompt and be configured for how to talk with this uh, web service, the Google Drive API in this case. So you need to also go learn about uh, the API and the documentation and know how to set that up for each tool. Uh, now, if something ever changes or the, the, the API uh, updates or changes, you're also going to have to go back to your tools and reconfigure your tools to adapt them to the new API. So there's, there's a lot of work in building this and also a lot of manage, management to do, especially if you have one of these like universal AI agent that uh, connects to many different services, then it would be a lot of work setting that up and also possible maintenance if anything changes. Now, let's see how MCP does this. Now, MCP has a goal to simplify all of this for you and abstract most, most of this work away from you, so you don't have to think about that. So in the MCP way, you have a MCP client and a MCP server that communicates with each other using the MCP protocol. Now, if you're like, let's say developing your AI agent in NA10, in this case, the client would be something like the NA10 community node or in cursor, it would be uh, some, some, some code that cursor has implemented. And it's not something you have to deal with directly in any way. So if you want to communicate with the Google Drive API, in this case, you want to uh, call, uh, uh, call some endpoints, uh, upload files, delete files, etc. All you have to do is just uh, to chat with your AI agent and the client here will, ma will, will handle going over to the server here that's, that, that is in front of Google Drive API and get the tools uh, for the AI agent. You're not, you're not going to have to configure any tools yourself because all the tools and all the prompts will have been configured by the server. Now, the server here is something that uh, you could uh, create yourself if you want to, but usually you, you would expect a, um, there to be an official server, especially for bigger services such as Google Drive, or you would find some open source server, things like that. So whenever you want to connect to a new service, you would have to just download and install that serv ser uh, server and then uh, the client inside of your system here, your host, the NA10 or cursor, etc., already knows how to communicate via MCP protocol and can easily connect to the server. And there's no extra work done on your part. Uh, and also, if like something changes in the service and the APIs, the, the one who maintains the server will uh, update the server and manage that. So you don't also have to think about the maintenance part. So this simplifies uh, building AI agents for different APIs and makes it so much simpler and less work for an AI agent developer. Now, one thing to note here with the server here is that it's not necessarily a physical server. You can host it, of course, in a physical server on the cloud or something like that. But what the server basically is, is just a uh, local script or a local, a small local app that runs uh, and that communicates with that service. So let's say you want to uh, uh, connect to your, uh, you want an AI agent that connects to your po local Postgres database. In that case, you would have a local Postgres server that you install locally, uh, and then your AI agent would connect to that server and uh, may make, uh, take actions on Postgres database uh, on your behalf. So uh, yeah, that's, that's my, my understanding of the difference between these two. And I hope you find this valuable. Uh, in the coming days, I plan to start getting into MCP in a deeper level and start building some ser servers and do some tutorials, technical tutorials on MCP. And if that's interesting, please subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And leave a like if you found this valuable as well. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Until next time, take care.